Luther Cooley Station Online. Yeah, that's us. Because we play this. Welcome to the world of all sports and music radio, where the rhythm of sports meets the beat of music. We bring you the thrill of sports, the action, the excitement, and the victories. And we infuse it with the power of music, the melodies, the tunes, and the vibes that keep you grooving. Our expert hosts are your guides to this unique fusion, providing insightful sports analysis and playing the best tracks. With our easy-to-use app, Access Playlist, get live sports updates, and engage with fellow enthusiasts. Join our community on social media, where fans discuss, share, and celebrate the best of both worlds. But wait, there's more. Enjoy weekly in-depth sports analysis and the finest music selection at www.soundofsport.live. All sports and music radio, where sports and music collide, creating a symphony of excitement. Tune in and never miss a beat. Visit us at www.soundofsport.live.
Jadon Sancho is considering leaving Manchester United in the January transfer window if he remains sidelined until the new year. Sancho has been excluded from the squad by manager Eric Ten Hag and is awaiting the resolution of a disciplinary matter. He accused Ten Hag of lying about his absence from the match against Arsenal. Although Sancho removed his statement, he has not publicly apologized, and sources suggest it might be in his best interest to seek opportunities elsewhere. Possible options for Sancho include a return to Borussia Dortmund, where he played for four years, or joining Nottingham Forest under his former England under-17 coach Steve Cooper. Sancho is reportedly hesitant to move to Saudi Arabia due to his young age of 23. Last week, United received interest from Saudi clubs before the transfer window closed. Ten Hag explained in a press conference that Sancho was left out of the squad due to his training performance. In response, Sancho stated that he won't allow untrue claims and believes there are other reasons behind the matter. Sancho expressed his desire to play football with a smile on his face, contribute to the team, and continue fighting for the badge.
Arsenal are confident of extending Martin Odegaard's contract, sources say. Talks are progressing well, and Odegaard is expected to commit his future to the club. The midfielder's deal expires in 2025, but he will likely sign for at least two more seasons. Odegaard's form and improved standing will be reflected in a significant wage increase. He joined Arsenal on loan from Real Madrid in January 2021 and made a permanent move in 2021. Since then, Odegaard has scored 26 goals in 110 appearances for the club. When asked about his contract, Odegaard expressed happiness at Arsenal and hopes to stay long-term. He declined to comment further, focusing on his national team duties with Norway. Arsenal's next game is against Everton on Sunday. The coolest station online. Yeah, that's us. Because we play this.